Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are here to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. Shuwore makes shocking revelation on how DSS favors arrested Boko Haram commanders treated him. The convener of the Revolution Now Movement, Omo Yele Shuwore, has disclosed that the Department of State Services, DSS, refused him from making calls while granting arrested Boko Haram commanders access to telephone while in custody. Shuwore, who is the 2019 presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, made the disclosure when he appeared before a federal high court in Abuja on Monday. The federal government rearranged Shuwore for conspiracy to commit treason and insulting President Muhammadu Buhari. According to Shuwore, I am not allowed to see sunshine. I have not been outside except today. I am happy people are staying strong. He said, I have no doubt this one will come to an end in favor of the Nigerian people. Whether you like it or not, the revolution will happen. It is only a matter of time. They gave me no access to telephone, no TV, no newspapers. What is interesting is that Boko Haram commanders who are engaged in high-level terrorism have access to telephone, TV, and even cable in their cells. So you wonder which one is better, a freedom fighter or a terrorist? So guys, uh, that is what uh, Omoyele Shewari has revealed. This is not a new thing. It is not a surprising thing to each and every one of us. Of course, we've been hearing uh, uh, every now and then how the government, the police, dialoguing with bandits, Boko Haram, kidnappers, Esme, Fulani Esme, killing people here and there, how they have been negotiating with them. It is not a news. It's not a new thing. So it's just a, a confirmation from uh, Omogele Shiwore. Those are the things that are happening in Nigeria. I always say it, when the abnormal things have become the normal things, even the people who are really in, uh, who are really with their normal senses, who are sane, at times you tend to ask yourself, am I really, am I okay? Because things that are not right, you see people glorifying it and they try to celebrate it. And you, you are, that you are saying the right thing, they make you feel as if you are, you are nobody, that something is even wrong with you. At times you'll be, you want to doubt your own uh, uh, sanity, unsanity. So it's really appalling. It's really appalling. And the people who come to tell us that they have integrity, they have this and that, the people who tend to project themselves as good people, but reverse is the case. The case, they are being exposed now. Thank God that they came into power. Thank God that they are allowed into power. Now we can see the stuff they are made of. When they started negotiating with bandits, we don't even know that is another name. Boko Haram is different from bandits and is different from uh, Fulani Esme, D different from kidnappers. Now, these are the, the same Fulanis who are really committing Fulani Esme, who are commi committing havoc here and there. The only thing the government says that they want to do is civil, uh, it's evidence. There's no need for anybody to start doubting it. They always say the reason why or the, the solution to the problem of farmers and Esme, it is by uh, creating Ruga. Whereas this Fulani Esme are the one killing people here and they're killing farmers. There's not even clashes between farmers and herders. There's nothing like clashes because the farmers are just on their own. They have their own land. They have a designated place. They do their farming. These people will just move from, you know, from places to places to encroach on their land and eat up their crops with their cows. And you expect people to be looking at them. And at the end of the day, they go with AK-47. From a, what a, the governor of a, uh, Anambra was saying, Obiano, when he was making statements on how to, if uh, somebody kills somebody, they are going to pay 500000 and all of that. He, now, he was not saying that they should make sure that they don't carry AK-47. It is a known fact that they carry AK-47. I've never seen a, a farmer carrying AK-47 from places to places. He is always on his farm. 
taking care of uh, his crops and you know you know and whatever he has uh, uh, planted these people are the people that will come from nowhere you can't see a farmer going to another place now to go and do what <laughs> they have a designated place where they do their farming it is only this fulani esme they are looking for trouble because they are the ones who move from places to places then tell me how come do you now say that there's clashes between the farmers and herders where do they meet it is the same fulani esme that will come and meet the farmers in their own place where they are situated so who is not looking for trouble and at the end of the day the only way the government you know the only solution they have found to curb this problem is to create ruga and by giving them a kind of money and now they have turned that ruga because everybody rejected that ruga they have turned it again or changed it to livestock and they are going to food it be 80 percent of the whatever that is going to go into that program federal government is going to food the be 80 percent and 20 percent from the state that will be interested so what are we talking about so somebody people are, who are committing havoc committing you know mayhem here and there you cannot arrest them you can't do anything to them the only thing you want to do is to try to appease them to make sure that you want to grant them i don't know whether it is amnesty or in these guys arrest them you cannot arrest them they always come here come out here and every now and then Mieti Hala always threatening farmers you know giving ultimatum even to the federal government they will not arrest them the last time we heard when uh, the uh, Mieti Hala telling uh, 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 they, are, they are warning Ghani Adams that the federal government should call him to order that DSS should call him to order the IGP should call Ghani Adams to order because of the a statement he made and i said you know those are the things that you guys have really the foundation you have already laid because when you were saying all of those things making all those statements nobody arrested you nobody said anything the government could not say anything see where uh shewere has landed see the way they are treating him it is a known fact it's not as if he's making it up it is what you and i know it is what everybody knows this is really terrible honest honestly it's really terrible how can we continue with this kind of system? And they will tell you that he has integrity, that he go, this government has integrity, but reverse is the case. Totally, you know, just opposite of what they project or they profess. Reverse is the case. It is a known fact. See police here and there, mostly in the north, they're always dialoguing, uh, uh, discussing with bandits, with uh, S-Me. You can imagine what Shore is talking about, that a, the commander of the Boko Haram has everything at his, dis, at his disposal, very comfortable. Then who is freedom fighter? Who is a terrorist? I heard from a report that this, uh, uh, some politicians and some uh, northern elder uh, leaders, they are benefiting, they have made insurgency. Insurgency is now a, a form of business to them. That is why Boko Haram cannot end there. Any form of terrorism, it is from that side. When you talk of terrorism, it is from the north. And Buhari is there. He's not doing anything. They are negotiating with them. But the ones who is going to say, these are the things that are affecting the people. These are the things that you are doing that, you know, people are not benefiting from. Your policies are wrong. Your policies are, you know, causing problems in the lives of people. No, they don't want to hear that. The only thing... The next thing is just for them to arrest you and to cook up stories. Very, very pathetic. It's not making it up. It's what we see every day. It's what we see every day. So that is just my own opinion uh, concerning to what he has said. And a lot of people are reacting just to what he has said. You can hear it. A lot of people reacting. Someone say, oh God, arise in your power and heal this country from the hand of the wicked ones so-called politicians in jesus name someone say i have always said it that boko haram is just a division of nigeria security forces deployed by the north to siphon nigeria money some of the northern leaders and government officials are members of boko haram ask yourself where are the bases of these boko haram boys are they coming from heaven to fight and sack the army they are simply about it is one of the planned fulanization and islamization 
The real Boko Haram terrorist commanders are in the Nigerian Police Force leaders, Nigeria Army leadership, Nigeria Army leadership, Nigeria Custom leaders, Nigeria DSS leaders, the Nigeria immigration leaders of this present constituted federal government of Nigeria. Hmm. The so-called Boko Haram is sponsored by the incumbent president. Who doesn't know that? Hmm. My heart beats when I read some irrational comments of some people on social media. Shawari has displayed the true attributes of freedom fighter. He is Ghani of our time. Even when Jonathan presided over the worst corrupt government, some people expect, expect Shawari to be singing his praises. A good activist must be criticized every bad government, whether Buhari or Jonathan. That is just it. A good activist must criticize. Once you do wrong thing, no matter, no matter who's us is God. Once you do anything that is contrary to what it is obtainable, the, a good activist must criticize you. It is only when you start falling in line with okay, I'm with these people, I'm with these people. You are not a good activist. When you say wrong thing, no matter who's us is God, you must say it. So, guys, uh, that is just what uh, I can really say for, for the now. Omoyeli Shiwore has been able to, you know, shed more light to what has been happening. A Boko Haram commander giving all manner of, uh, you know, preferential treatments. You can imagine. Then who is a terrorist? They are just deceiving themselves. They are just embarrassing themselves. The government is just embarrassing itself. That is just the way it is. So, guys, I would like to hear from you, you know, from this uh, uh, submission from Omoyeli Shiwore. Please leave your comments below in the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye.